Hey, 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 it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing today. That's right, you seen it. Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, they're looking at July the 22nd. It's been a lot of people pointing at that particular date, but your boy Jay Hardcore just got some inside information that fell from Showtime. We can't say who the person was, but they say, hey, man, this is looking like this is going down July the 22nd. Everything has been pretty much approved, and it's just one hurdle left. Now, if I had to think what the one hurdle would be, I would say it would be trying to find out which place in Las Vegas it's going to happen at. Because, you know, they got to they gotta, you know, bid for that. Because you got to see who comes with the best incentives, who going to give the most rooms, who going to give, you know, uh, the food. When I say food, is is they going to get a percentage of that? You know, merch, everything, whatever it takes. The whole thing in a nutshell is they say that this thing is going to happen July the 27th. I'm going to be truthfully honest. Me personally, I think it could be happening anywhere from July the 22nd to July the 29th, meaning the 22nd or the 29th. Just like when we had that tank fight and Ryan Garcia, they told us, I think it was like the 16th or the 15th, and it ended up happening a week later. But yeah, I got some good information, some good intel, like I said, and the source is from Showtime. And they're saying that it's looking good for July 22nd. Uh, I wouldn't tell you to go out there and uh, book your room right now unless you got a uh, 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 some type of guarantee that you can get your money back or something like that. Well, you know, sometimes with the hotels, if you book it and you cancel within a certain time, you're good. But it's looking pretty good. We want that fight. This fight has been in the clamorings for almost five years. Remember when they both end up coming face to face uh, at a uh, boxing event and ES News was covering it at the time. Matter of fact, check it out right here. Bam. How yeah. look at the win? We, we talking about now. How look at the win? But you talking about how big it is. It's fact. But how look at the win? How look at the win? Yeah. I guarantee I'm crush you. Grab that. All right, let me ask you a question. Grab that. Don't try to go to the body. Don't try to talk from the side, bro. Don't try that, Don't try that. 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 Don't Tell him do that. Don't Tell him do that. Don't try 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 that. Back to what we were talking about. Whatever. Try that body it shot shit. I'm not I'm gonna ah. stop you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you. Easy. That shit gonna be easy work. I'm solid. I'm solid. It don't matter. I'm gonna knock you out, bro. Oh, you that, getting hurt. That's fact. You got hurt by getting bull. That's fact. You got hurt by getting bull. Yeah. You got hurt by getting yeah. bull. You got hurt by getting bull. I got hurt by getting bull. And you got. As you can see, I just showed you was a clip from ES News when uh, Spence and Crawford was uh, talking smack to each other, but it got a little. Uh, a little heavy, you know, because Spence was telling uh, Croft, hey, man, get your man in order. He on the sidelines. He ain't got nothing to do with this. Me and you got something to go on it. And Spence looked like he was TTG. He was trained to go. Looked like he was ready. And Crawford, he was keeping the business. He was like, hey, man, you talking to me, bro. Talk to me. He said, okay, now you talking to me. After Spence was really looking like he was really about to dig into him. You know what I mean? But you can't you, you can't take nothing from that. You know what I mean? Because when you get in that boxing ring, it has nothing to do with uh, anger or, or none of that type of stuff. It's all about skill. And when you get to this elite level, it's all about skill. You know what I mean? And that's why we want to see this fight. Because for one, Spence is one of the most fundamentally sound people out there. But then you got Terrence Crawford. Crawford is just, when it comes to just being good and angles and, you know what I mean, and just being a dog. And Spence is a dog. And you know what? I'm down for the dog. Where, where, where my dog at? Right there. You know, I'm about that dog. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. When everything else fails, you got to, you know what? Bring that dog out. You know, I got my son boxing there. And I was telling him, hey, man. 
You know, when all else fails, you know what I mean? Bite on that gum shield and bring that dog out. And that's what I think we're going to get in this fight. Because you got two dogs. Spencer's a dog. Crawford is a dog. And I'm going to tell you, neither one of them want either one of them to get one up on them. So I feel, though, that Crawford is going to really try on boxing real sweet, you know what I mean? Working his angles, you know, and control and range and distance and everything. And Spence, you know how he is. He's a junkyard dog. He, he keep him high and he come forward. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to get to a point where eventually it's going to be a fight breakout. And at that point is when we get to see who the baddest man in 147. You know what I mean? But I'm going to tell you, this opened the doors for so much because whoever wins this fight got so many mandatories. Oh, my goodness. They got to fight Boos. They got to fight the winner of uh, Stanionis and uh, Virgil Ortiz. I mean, it's going to be some rumbling. I mean, personally, I feel, though, that Spence probably going to go up to 154. And if uh, 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 Crawford win, he going to go to 154, too, because he say he want a piece of Jamel Crawford. So we got some stuff happening. I'm excited. I want this fight. This is one fight that I'm actually going to go on out there to see because that's history. I want to see who is the baddest man at 147. And you do too. But listen, here, this is your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I'm going to be truthfully honest because I want to see this fight. You can tell how passionate I am about it. But listen here, make sure that you uh, like this video. Get the algorithm moving for me, you know what I mean? And that you share it, and that you comment, engage with me. Hey, I talk back. If you say something, we're going to talk. We're going to go back and forth about it. It's all good. It's all fun. It's all but, uh, it's, you know what I'm saying. It's all good. But listen, I, I love me some, uh, uh, some verbal sparring, so bring it on. It's your boy, Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. I'm out of here.